Hey guys, the snows with Crypto Marie Loco and International. Bomb threats rattled Springfield for second day as Hawaii City finds itself at center of latest Trump controversy. The former president keeps pushing the baseless claim that pets are being eaten and the community is feeling the effects. I don't understand the logic behind the whole thing. Not only the former president was dumb and stupid enough to bring that baseless crime on the debate stage, but for him to continue with the same crap, it just doesn't make sense to me. And I don't understand why the current president, Biden administration, don't come out to say something. Because the thing is, children are going to hear that. People with no common sense are going to hear it, and they are going to start attacking Haitian people. I even heard Haitian people, the parents are taking their kids out of school thinking that the former president is going to actually have people going to the school, knocking on doors to take them and to do something to them. We don't need that kind of fear living here in America. Enough is enough. Former President Donald Trump continues to push the baseless claim that Haitian migrants in Springfield, Ohio have been stealing pets and eating them. And the city has been feeling the effects this week. I mean, he's so ugly and fat and disgusting looking. He looks like he's the one eating pets. Probably one of the damn cats, you know, stuck in his throat. That's why he can't even find a word to say to end the debate stage. That's the problem. He's so disgustingly orange looking. Maybe he's eating too much cats and dogs. That's the reason. I really cannot believe any other background, any other race have an issue in this country. People stand up to defend them. And this former president, orange looking man, keep on going with the first allegation that Haitians are eating pets. And nobody from the Biden administration stand up to say, hey, enough is enough. This can lead to violence. Stop the bullshit. Stop the bullying. Stop the violence. This can lead to killing, destruction, and all kind of shit. And it's not fair. It's not right. Somebody need to stand up, have the balls, the cojones to say enough is enough. If it was Latino, if it was Asian, if it was Jewish, any other race, any other background, somebody would have stood up and say something. Why nobody's fighting for the Haitian community? We are human beings just like everybody else. When we come here, we don't come here to beg. We come here to work hard educate our kids go to school and do something to help people back home and help ourselves i don't understand the logic behind everybody shut the hell up and not standing up for haitian to help them put that false rumors aside it's not right children are going to school they are going to start attacking him attacking the children bullying the kids that are haitian descendant we don't want that come on man on Thursday, multiple city, county, and school buildings were closed following a bomb threat. Springfield Mayor Rob Rue said the email threat mentioned frustration with the city related to Haitian immigration issue. The FBI is working with local police to help identify the source of the threat, Springfield Police Chief Allison Elliott told reporters. On Friday, two elementary schools were evacuated and a middle school was closed in the wake of the threat. It was not immediately clear whether Friday's evacuations and closing were due to a new threat or linked to the previous mass missive.